we came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Congratulations on the film, first of all. I Thanks, really enjoyed Tom. it. Thank you. Um, this is obviously the fourth time you've worked with uh, Jean Collet, Sarah. What yes. is it that keeps you coming back to, to his films and his stories? I, he and I just click together. We did a, the first time we did a, we did this movie called Unknown, eight years ago in Berlin. And within a couple of hours being in his presence, I could just tell he knew how to tell the story. And it was a kind of a thriller too. So he just, he, he's, he's very aware of the overall arc of the story. Um, um, he's just a guy who knows his stuff and I immediately trusted him. And each time we've worked together, that trust has just grown and grown. And I think it's the same with him too, for me. Don't ask me why, you better ask him that. But uh, yeah, we're planning a fifth one too, next year sometime. He's very good. He's very, very good director. I mean, you've previously said that this is going to be your last kind of action thriller movie. Is that is that changed now? Are you kind of? It's it was one of those flippant remarks I made at the Toronto Film Festival in a room full of journalists. They said, "Oh, when are you doing an, another action movie?" And I said something like, with a few swear words thrown. And I said, <laughs> "Come on, guys, I'm 65. Give me a break." You know. So some journalists ran with that. I meant it in a flippant, light-hearted way. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you've done it along with the action thrillers in recent years. You've taken on kind of more, more sort of thoughtful mentor-like roles in films like Silence and uh, Monster sure. Calls. Is that something you're kind of looking to move into alongside the action as well, looking to get a bit more variety? Well, in it's, there? it's not deliberately looking for variety. Just sometimes, uh, certainly with Silence, I'd worked with Mr. Scorsese once before in Gangs of New York, and he asked me would I do this part in Silence, and I was aware it was a, a really important project for him. He spent 30 years trying to get this together and he only needed me for two weeks, so it was perfect, you know. Um, I've done one earlier this last year with Steve McQueen. Again, he just needed me for two or three weeks. So, so it's nice to do these films and pop in and pop out again, you know. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned there are a lot of great directors you've worked with. Is there anyone still on the wish list for you at this stage in your career? There's there's quite a number of them. I, I I'm, I'm, I'm old fashioned, I kind of, I would love to have worked with the old timers like John Ford, Howard Hawks, those guys, Cecil B. DeMille, I would love it to have had a chance to work with Hitch, Hitchcock, for example. Uh, but there's a lot of young talent out there and I am, that's uh, a hell of a lot of talent, a lot of good female talent too, coming up. All right, well Liam, thank you very much for your time, that's absolutely fantastic. Thanks, and uh, congratulations once again on the film.